Hey guys, this came in the mail today. It is our sealed case of Hot Wheels from Dollar Tree. Uh, we had it delivered to the door. Shipping only cost us 10 bucks, and the cars were only a buck each when you order them online, so that was great. My case seems to be factory sealed. Doesn't look like it was opened and retaped, and it is an e-case. So, it's a fairly new case from Dollar Tree. I'm impressed about that. But as you can see, the shipping labels where I ordered and such. So, it is a US case too, as you can see, L2593. So, this is waiting on our front porch today for us. So, we're going to get it cracked open for you guys. Hopefully, we got a super. Well, we'll find out soon. So we're actually unboxing this on our front porch. So we got our box cutter. And I'm not using a phone stand today. Just kind of trying to wing it freestyle. So get this cut open. As you guys see, it is a fresh crack. And voila, we've got some cars. So we're going to start pulling them out and looking at them, guys. All right, before we start, my helper wants to say hi. Say hi, Ethan. Hi. All right, so we're going to see what we got in here. We've kind of done an in-store look at these at Walmart, the E-Case, and we've done uh, some videos on some of the stuff we chose from the E-Case, but we've never had a whole E-Case that we're cracking open. So here we go. So let's uh, start over here. So there is a... Uh, Devin's Devin's Na uh, Nader, <laughs> something like that. Um, fantasy car has to be a cool one, I guess, for Ethan, and it has some kind of special feature on it. So, Ethan will dig that. He loves cars with opening parts and special features. Then, this guy we've shown you before this is your uh, Raging Express. Ethan has one of those in his collection already. Then you have the Toyota AE86 Sprinter Truno. Um, this one we have in our collection already. We've done an unboxing on it. And all of these have that code E on the top, as you can see up here. Um, then this is one we don't have, so Ethan will be getting this for his collection. This is your custom 01 Acura Integra GSR. Then... This one we do have, the Mad Manga. Pretty cool, going for that look of the Japanese car culture. Another Fantasy Hyperfin. This is another one that we don't have and probably would not have bought, but Ethan has it now for his collection. So I'm gonna throw some of these over to Ethan so he can start having fun ripping them open. Yeah, here you go. Get started with those, okay? Yeah. Okay. No, you can do it for me. And then, my favorite from this case, probably the LB Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15. Love this casting. I uh, got a few of them in my collection. And here's the 71 Dodge Charger. We've unboxed this for you guys. Not a big fan of the orange windows, but I do like this casting. Then, here is a second manga and then a custom ford bronco this is pretty cool this will be a nice one for ethan's collection that's one we don't have yet 70 chevelle wagon we did unbox one of these for you already so we do have one of these in our collection and the Toyota Land Cruiser 80. This is a cool casting. We do have it in our collection, too. Then we have another one of those Devastators. So, one we can donate to charity or something. And then we have a Mercedes Benz 500E. We don't have that one in our collection yet, so that's another cool one we can add. Then another Fantasy Fusion Busta. So that's another one we can put in our collection. Here you go, buddy. 
giving him the fantasy ones to start ripping open. Ah, and I remember this one, the tuned 83 Chevy Silverado. That's a cool casting, one of the better ones in the box. Um, the same with the Silhouette. It's a cool little casting if you're into tuned cars. My favorite so far this year, though, is the Batmobile, which we do get a couple of them in this case. And I've been needing a keychain, so the coupe clip. Finally got one of those. Wouldn't have bought it at the store, but since I bought the sealed case, why not? We'll use this one as our keychain. And then bone shaker. Bone shaker is always cool to have. I believe we have this one, but I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. I kind of recall unboxing a bone shaker for you guys, but I'm not sure. So we'll take a look. But if not, we got a bone shaker. Always cool to have one of them. Then we have the Rally Baja Crawler. This one we did unbox for you a while back. I think this appeared in the D case, C or D case first. We have it. Um, cool fantasy truck. I do dig that one. And then the first gen Mazda RX-7. I don't think we have one of these yet. So that's a cool one to have for the collection. I like the wide body look they did on this. And then we do have this guy. I remember opening it, the Glory Chaser. It's kind of like a Le Mans like road racer from the 60s fantasy but it looks more realistic than fantasy so pretty cool nicely done by hot wheels and then there's the tuned batmobile my favorite tuned vehicle for 2022 very cool and then the goodyear 2009 ford f-150 quad cab nice looking truck and then the Corvette Copo. We do have that one. I dig this casting too. This is one of my favorites probably from this case also. So if I have a top three, it would probably be the Silhouette, this, and then I believe the 83 Silverado, the green one, should be in this case too. And this is a peg warmer, the Willy chair. Here you go, Ethan. And then another really strange looking fantasy car, the Cosmic Coupe. So, best for track, we will find that out later. Has the same wheels and tire, well wheels, they're, because they're plastic one pieces, same as the treasure hunt in this box. So there's another one for you to open up, Ethan. Got it. Got it, okay. And then there's a duplicate of the Fusion Busta. And then, a duplicate of the first gen RX-7 and then this is one I don't think we bought yet the Honda S2000 in yellow we may have but I'm not sure this is this from the Rio's Rise Rides set so that's a cool looking casting in yellow can't wait till the RLC one comes up I will be trying to get that one that should be coming up fairly soon I think I don't know what is next from RLC but I am paying attention now that I joined. Uh, so here's the Starship Enterprise. This is a cool one. Remember when this came out back in 2012, 2011 or 2012. Uh, then, another Fusion Busta. Three of those things. And then here's an MK5 Miata, which is pretty cool. Really crazy paint job and mismatched wheels and such. But overall, cool casting this is from Rio's rides also then we have another fantasy car this one is like a weird looking police car um, and it's called lethal diesel and anyways not my cup of tea but Ethan may like it here you go Ethan and then we did unbox one of these for you, I remember that, the 69 Chevy pickup, and then Lolux. This is actually pretty cool, this reminds me of like some kind of weird machine that Ken Block would have drifting or something like that. So this one's not a bad looking fantasy vehicle, like some kind of Jeep pickup Baja hybrid thing. So okay, not bad 
has like off-road like big tires actually those are like slicks in the back sorry and then it's got 10 spokes in the front so another mismatched car and then there's that one for you buddy and then here's the treasure hunt from this box we have a few of these already we have one open a couple that are still carded the dino nation or draftinator i'm sorry I'm trying to push that up so you guys can see down in there you can kind of see the writing under the rocker panel for that this one's hard to find and blah 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 but yeah that is your treasure hunt you can see the flame logo there it's a regular hopefully we got a super but i do not have my fingers crossed well i have my fingers crossed but i'm not holding my breath okay. so we'll pull the divider out and then there is our second layer so another one of the region express and then another fantasy vehicle turtle shell it looks like a big turtle so not my cup of tea but hey ethan may enjoy it here you go you want a turtle yeah then there is the regular of the super from the last case the 63 studebaker champ pretty cool casting and then moving along let's get a couple of these out here and just take a look at them together because they are fantasy eruption and kick start both pretty ugly little fantasy vehicles but once again stuff that ethan may enjoy um then another ford f-150 duplicate of him here and then yeah this is new the perfect speed i guess it's supposed to be like some kind of cat car want a cat here you go Take the kitty. And then another La Rally Baja Crawler. That's a cool fantasy vehicle from the Fast and Furious series. And then another one of those Lolux trucks. And then the Nash. And this is a crazy looking concept. I've seen a couple of these that were tubbed out with big motors in them with like the dominator carburetors and stuff like on top of the blower kind of just like this except it still had the concealed wheels they weren't sticking out like that so cool concept and it does not look like we got the super guys unfortunately here is the 2020 corvette regular and we do have one of these in our collection so unfortunately we didn't get a super it doesn't look like so another toyota land cruiser 80 and then another 500e merc and another crazy concept donut drifter you want a donut here have a donut <laughs> and then this one's been around for a while the cockney cab 2 that crazy looking little um fantasy vehicle kind of based on a london taxi cool kind of then we have uh the count muscula muscula uh and we have that one already a duplicate of the copo corvette which is cool and then the ain't fair dropped channeled rta looking bus i say rta because that's what we call them in cleveland so pretty cool we have an orange one so we, but we don't have the yellow one yet another studebaker and then another tuned bathmobile another custom bronco and this is a weird looking one, the Hyper Rocker. Pretty cool off-road truck. You'll have fun with this one in the dirty thing. Here you go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Got it, okay. Another Acura. And then a McLaren F1, another one from the Ruiz Rides. We do not have this one, so that'll be a cool addition to Ethan's collection. Then another cat concept. Yep, 
another glory chaser and then a big air bel air that's pretty cool we haven't got one of these yet so that'll be a good addition to our collection then some other fantasy thing let's go i guess to look like a go-kart there you go with that one then a Austin Martin Valhalla concept like this in the Exotic Envy series when it had rubber tires and all metal casting. Um, then another S15, which these are always welcome in our home. <laughs> and then we're getting down there, guys. And we didn't get a green Silverado. That's kind of a ripoff, too. I thought we got those in every case. Uh, this Hyperfin, I just noticed, is also from that Fast and Furious Spy Racers. So, goes along with that Rally Baja, but that's a duplicate. Another tuned 83 Silverado. Would have rather have got the green one instead of another tune. Then you only get one of these in the case. I'm surprised. An Nissan Leaf Nismo. The uh, first electric Nismo. And then... Another one of those let's go fantasy vehicles and then La Troca. We have this one in our collection already, but it is a cool casting, even though they redid it. Still not too bad. And then another donut drifter. So that's all 72 guys. That is an empty case now. And we opened it from the bottom. They didn't do it. That was us. But I just figured I would go all through the top instead of flipping it over. So that's pretty much it for this case. Unfortunately, we didn't get a super, but it was worth the money. It was worth the chance. It was shipped to our door for 86 bucks total. So you can't beat that. 72 bucks for the cars, 10 for shipping, and then like four bucks for taxes. So not too bad. And these things are like falling everywhere now. I just threw them over on the side on our little welcome bench here. So anyways, guys, we'll be back maybe later in the week with some other unboxing. I have a, a lot of Johnny Lightning vehicles I bought off of eBay. There's like 80 vehicles in this lot. As soon as I get here, we'll be doing an unboxing on those two. And we have another box from the Philippines coming. And it should be here next Saturday. So we have a lot of big, like, lots and collections and boxes and things like that coming up to unbox. So stay tuned for that. So say bye, Ethan. Bye. All right, guys. See you next time.